What's up, everyone? It's your boy, Scott. Welcome to the Scott Report. Today, I'm bringing you a live reaction in Little Witch Academia, Episode 3. You know what? I'm not liking how late this comes out in the day. I really don't. It came out this late last week. Came out this late again. I might just have to do it on Monday if this keeps up. But, hey, let's go ahead and get it in now. Um, I'm going to the old live reaction format with this one because I tried to do one last week with the video. And phew, you think they would have did a magic spell on me because I swear within 10 seconds of me uploading it, I got a copyright strike for it. So, with that being said, there's no video, there's no audio for this. But there will be a timer at the bottom so you guys can keep up with where I am on the episode. We're going to go ahead and get it in for Little Witch. This is definitely, I think Sunday is my favorite day of the winter season so far because you got iron blooded orphans and you got this series both series that i'm very excited to watch every day both series that brings either a smile or sadness to my face depending on what's going on it's been nothing but smiles with a little wish but gundam can take you on an emotional roller coaster so enough on that let's go ahead and get it in because i cannot wait to watch this episode it really is that great so we're gonna get it in in five four three two one start though <laughs> Akko's trying to use a book, trying to use a spell to clean up her room. Uh, she's trying everything she can to use this um, rod to, her, to the best of her ability. This is not working. I'm pretty sure Ursula's going to end up training her. Damn, she's kind of thick. Yep, she's going to be her mentor. Oh, she gets her broom. Let's go. <laughs> She's like, I'm not going to turn this in. I'm going to keep this as Chariot comes back. Uh, so it's by fate that she got that rod, huh? At least that's what Ursula believes. I believe a heart is my magic. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so why the opening is going on? Uh, yeah, I really enjoy Little Witch Academia. It. I've said this many times before. This is a type of series that they could easily put on like Cartoon Network or like Nicktoons or something like that. It really does need to be in syndication, even though unfortunately there are no more Saturday morning cartoons. I think I'm one of the last of an era to actually have cartoons or Saturday mornings when I get up. So, yeah, um, this series probably would have been big and it could still blow up in Netflix. I mean, look at like Voltron and things like that. That show up on Netflix they are pretty popular, which is a little bit off topic, but I have seen that they have the legendary defender version of the Voltron Five Lions, and my God, <laughs> I need that thing. I really do. It's expensive though. But anyway, um, yeah, I cannot wait for Little Witch Academia every Sunday. Knowing that it's on Netflix, it's like the schedule is always gonna be wonky for it, and then they're going to wait till it's over and release all of them at once. They really do need to get on the weekly thing if they're going to corner this anime market. Because now, even with Amazon coming in to compete with Crunchyroll and Funimation, they're going to have to start doing this weekly. So, that's just a little foresight as we watch the opening. Studio Trigger going in with this series. And that was your news by Scott. Oh, she is so amped. She has his broom. <laughs> She's been trying to fly all her life. Okay, so this Sorcerer Stone is important. Susie just revealed that 
you gotta be in with, within the rail of this stone in order to fly. So what were you doing, you idiot? <laughs> I like Susie more every week. All right, they're about to learn how to fly in class. But wait, can Akko do it though? Because she's not a witch, so how is she how is she gonna get up in the air? I really enjoy the OST for this series too. <laughs> Why does she have on straight up flying gear though, like a pilot? This teacher. And we already know Susie can do it. <laughs> She's trying so hard. She's just going nowhere. <laughs> She's like, you had no problem winning a shouting match, that's for sure. Oh, is this a new character? Well, she is a beast on this broom. She sure up doing tricks. Amanda, okay. Diane. Diana, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, we got a broom relay. I'm pretty sure that's going to be this episode or the next. We're about to get a race. <laughs> Poor Akko. Broom Relay. And it's so hard to compare this to Harry Potter. I mean, this is basically Quidditch, in a way. Hey, there's Chariot. Well, Chariot won. So, of course, now that's her inspiration. Yes, yeah, like no way she could learn how to fly before the relay, right? No, oh, it's a magic item cafe. Did she get her broom modified or something? <laughs> the cafe is just a little little table and stuff. What is that? Hey, it's a broom that has a mind of his own. The mysterious flight room, shooting star. Damn, we went to across the entire Atlantic Ocean with that thing. A broom filled with magic. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> She's like, I want it. <laughs> that face she had, man.
And just like I said last week as well, this this series is very predictable. But it's still fun nonetheless because we already know the broom's going to get out. Akko's going to get it. It's going to choose her. And now she's going to have the shiny rod and the fastest broom in the school. But I'm still excited to see it. Also, oh, Diana's the favorite to win, huh? But how? I mean, that one chick we just met, Amanda, she was like straight up doing acrobats on that thing. Oh, she looks like she's about to steal it, speaking of Amanda. <laughs> she's like, I'm a contender if I can fly. Did she give her a kindergarten book to fly? <laughs> Elementary school level book. So you still have to use it like a regular broom. Like if you start cleaning up with it and stuff, you will build a bond. <laughs> You're not going to learn that quick. She's trying to threaten the broom, really? <laughs> she threatened with a breast, like, I'm going to do this to you. <laughs> now she's begging. Man. <laughs> so she's like, I, I wasn't sure before, but now I'm, I'm quite confident she's a moron. So you get a prize too, of course. And Susie's like, oh yeah. She knows she's all about learning. Did <laughs> strap her to the broom? <laughs> Jeez. She gotta learn the hard way. And Susie has no chill, man. Just straight up bungee cording her. <laughs> Shooting her out of cannons. <laughs> Jeez. So after all that, she could if she could fly after all that. Cause she got bandages everywhere. Fail. <laughs> she tried to rage out and hit herself. What's the prize? And of course, we got an announcer. might be fun. Amanda O'Neill. Okay. The dark horse. Yeah, she looked like she did steal that broom. right past her like stand <laughs> all right so going over the rules
Everybody line up. <laughs> Everybody's on your bros. Akko's just running. What do you have planned, Susie? Because Akko can't fly right now, like at all. <laughs> oh, the trickery! <laughs> Tie people down with the roots! <laughs> Susie, man. Using the bad girl tactics. <laughs> Lot is just cruising right now. Does she have a mechanical broom? Yo. That's legal? Damn, Lot just got lapped. All right, now we got Susie. You know she's up to some fiendery. <laughs> Is she sitting there the wrong way by giving her snacks? Susie's a fiend, man. In a good way, though. She's a, she's a troll. That's basically what she is. I like Amanda's reasoning. She's like, I'm a rebel just like you, so join me, Magic Broom. Man, that thing is going crazy. No broom in the world I can't ride, really now. Mushroom poison queen Susie. Come on, Akko, let's go. What is that? Did she give her some magic for the broom to work? It's a pair of legs. <laughs> Technically, she's still riding the broom. It's in the rules. It's not cheating. Everybody else is so behind, though. <laughs> She's like, ribbon, ribbon. <laughs> oh, there it is. By fate, she catches this broom. You came back for her. Like, get off me. <laughs> oh, man. She's just going to try to wrangle it. <laughs> so he's taking her across the continent. She's still holding on, though.
Oh, Diana saved her. Once again, showing that she isn't the mean girl we thought it would. Thought she was. And she was like, yeah. This was for last time. You owe me now. Well, not owe me. She was like, I'm just repaying my debt to you. So remember last week, she kind of got her out of trouble. So that was cool that um, Diana actually called back to that. Like, thanks for helping me. I saved your life. Now, get out of here. Well, she's back on it. This is classic studio trigger as well. This was the best studio to get this series, I think. <laughs> Susie's like, she probably gave up. Ursula looking like, what the hell? Wild Dark Horse Tomboy Amanda. Oh, she's straight up trying to take the broom from her. She's like, I stole that fair and square. Oh, is she getting disqualified? Oh, man. <laughs> she had a donut instead of a time. We got the matchup between Diana and Akko. <laughs> Susie's like, no, don't, don't kid yourself. She's chained to the broom. She's not riding it. Damn, she fell off it. Oh, did it turn to a bird? That is awesome. And Diana won. Okay, so Diana actually respects her now. That's what's up. I'm pretty sure she's a spitting image of Shiny Chariot. She has to be, and that's why Ursula is taking like the initiative to try to train her and everything. Little Wish Academia. I'm gonna not gonna watch the ED. I'm just gonna stop here. Man, ah, this series is such a feel good series, guys. Definitely a good way to end Sunday with a big, bright smile on my face. Especially after that Gundam episode today, man. This series is this series is great. I love it. Absolutely love it. And I've heard it's going to have 25 episodes, so that's even better. <sighs> man. So, and I say this many times in the video. It's like, this series is predictable as hell. It's like, you can pretty much tell what's going to happen given by the flow of the episode. But that doesn't mean it's not enjoyable nonetheless because, if anything, it is definitely that. And what a good way to end Sunday night. So, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it here. If you like this video, go ahead and drop me a like. If you want to hear more, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. There's not a shortage of content for you to indulge on on this channel. And as I always say, you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now. But you chose to listen to me. I really appreciate that, so thanks for stopping by. It's like super late, that's why I'm ending this so quick without um, doing like any recaps or anything. But it was a pretty self-explanatory episode. I mean, clearly, either it's some type of connection between Shiny Chariot and Akko, but the things that she's doing and the feats that she's managing to accomplish is definitely shades of the great disgraced magician, which is Shiny Chariot. And Ursula could see that in her. I can't wait to get to the past between these two because I'm pretty sure they were best friends or something. So on that note, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here once again. It's your boy Scott signing out. See you soon.